Until recently, the marinas were not required to have any ground fault protection built in. Hello and welcome to another one of our Ask the Expert series here at Boat How To. We're Nigel and Jan, and we're answering your questions. Let's look at today's question. Eight years ago, I installed an electronic battery charger for my two onboard batteries. When the boat is laid up, I attach an adapter onto my shore power cord to plug it into a standard 125 volt outlet. When I flip the switch, the ground fault protector circuit breaker in the yard trips out. This doesn't happen when I plug the shore power cord into a Marina 30 amp outlet. Why does the charger work okay in the water and without the adapter? Well, it's a, probably a US specific this is question. It's a very US specific and it's actually a fairly easy uh, question to answer. That outlet that he's using in the boatyard uh, is, has got a 5 milliamp ground fault protection in it, the ground fault circuit interrupter, because mm -hmm. it's required to have that in the States. Okay. So it's a very low trip threshold. He's got some minor leakage current within his battery charger that's tripping the GFCI. When he goes to the marina and plugs in, until recently the marinas were not required to have any ground fault protection built in. So they're not picking up the ground fault and he's not tripping anything. Um, if he were to go to a modern marina, so the last year or two they've been required to have ground fault protection on the pedestals and it's quite likely he would trip the pedestal. Okay. If he were to plug in in Europe, every single European outlet has a residual current device on it, an RCD, RCD yeah. and, and he'd trip the RCD, mm -hmm. probably. Depending on the level of the fault current, if it's between 5 and 30 milliamps, uh, they wouldn't trip the shoreside pedestal because they're set at 30 milliamps, yeah. but in all likelihood it's more than 30 and he'd trip it. Yeah. So the problem is probably the battery charger, which, needs he, a new battery yeah, charger. which he should replace. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, if you want to learn more about grounding, AC systems, and also why these RCDs, ELCIs, and, uh, and GFCIs are actually so important, mm -hmm. um, check out our courses in our Advanced Marine Electrics program, where we have two separate courses, one on shore power-based AC systems and one on onboard AC systems, where we go in a lot of detail about this and yeah, talk, talk about why this is necessary and also the safety implications of these systems. All right, well, stay tuned and check it out. See you soon.